Welcome back to Max HP. It's Nick here, and today I'm going to get a ride in this wild drift car Corvette that Michael has, and it's far from stock. We're gonna check out what modifications it has, take it for a spin around the track, and uh, have a good time. All right, Michael, so I know this is a Corvette. That's about all I know. Can you do a quick introduction of what we're looking at, really? It's a 2012 base C6, came with a LS3. I bought it bone stock about five years ago. Oh, Off did. the showroom floor, it was all shiny and nice, and. Wow. And uh, it's not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> no. we, uh, we destroyed it. If I was smart, I would have bought a salvage title one. But yeah, it was bone stock when I got it. It had 70,000 miles on it. It was a pretty goofy idea to build it. Oh, yeah. Such a clean, low mile C6. But <laughs> used to be a daily. That's wild. Yeah, with the, with the angle kit and the hydro, I used to daily it. But I decided it was better to just go full race car. So we blew up the LS3 at a previous event. And uh, we wanted to run boost. So we went with a uh, Iron Block 5.3. We honestly just went with a cheap eBay eBay turbo kit. We knew we were gonna mess it up anyway, so we wanted something cheap to hack up. Fair enough. Um, stage two boost cam from uh, BTR and uh, all Ford's internals. It was just a big power kit that they offered. So it makes 615 horsepower to the wheels on 12 pounds of boost. We wanted to keep it reliable because with drifting, reliability is the key here. You don't want to go out there and throw a big power and end up blowing it up. So right. uh, learned my lesson last time. Yeah. So, yep. It looks pretty aggressive. It looks like it can do a lot more power. Yeah, yeah. It's turned way down. We can, uh, I think we can go up to 20 pounds of boost. Jeez. So it's uh, we built it to be capable of 1,200 horse, but we want to keep it reliable because I don't want to buy, an, I don't want to build another one. So, <laughs> yeah. so can you go into a little bit what you have done to it to make it good for drifting? Yeah, so we got an FDF Mega Mantis kit. FDF is based out of Canada, a real great company. They do a lot of grassroots cars, pro cars. <laughs> um, so that's the front end. And then we uh, added a uh, dual caliper hydro brake system in there, built that right into the cup holders. And then if you look down here, we just got a, a uh, Will Wood dual caliper set up from Drift HQ. Nothing too excessive. Drifting's pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. Go sideways, lock up the rear end when you need to. You so, make it sound easy. <laughs> yeah. BC racing coilovers and it does great. So I see you got a truckload of tires back there. Yep. Yeah, we go through about 20 to 24 tires a day. Oh my God. Uh, this will go through about a set of tires every two laps. If I'm pushing it, it'll do, it'll go through a set every lap if I'm oh, really yeah. pushing it. Yeah. So yeah, we, we bring quite a bit. Wow. So I've never ridden in a drift car before. What can I expect? What's that going to be like? A lot of G-force, but it's a lot smoother than people would assume. Everyone thinks it's shaking you side to side. It's actually really, really smooth, especially if the person driving can be relatively smooth on throttle and maintain angle. The more angle you have, the slower you are and the smoother the ride is. Okay. So, yeah, like you'll be able to hold your camera relatively still the whole time. Really? So. That's sweet. Yep. And, uh, and I got a stock passenger seat, so you'll be pretty comfortable with a four-point harness, of course, because safety first. Yeah, so. absolutely. So, so I don't think somebody just wakes up and decides to build a car like this for drifting. Uh, how'd you get into drifting? Uh, I used to be in off-road, used to go to Silver Lake a lot, just like driving. And, uh, and then I bought a 2019 Corvette, tried sliding it. It was an automatic, the computer kept kicking in, so decided to get this one. I wanted to push That's myself. Yeah. Road course racing got boring, off-roading got kind of boring. I found drifting was like the most fun because you're trying to go fast on a drive line while keeping up with other traffic, trying to get as close as possible. So I found this was the only sport that actually pushed. Yeah. You know, pushed you to be better and you could see results every single lap. That's sweet. If someone was to want to build a car like this or a similar drift build, what's it cost to build a drift car? I'm sure it's different with every car, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this, I got three grand and it was basically ready to go. Uh, we had my buddy Carter at Auto Care Excellence build an angle kit for it. We put coilovers on it, inline handbrake. I think I got like 4,500 total into this car and it rips. It'll keep up with pro cars. <laughs> That's insane. Um, this one, we're probably closer to like 70 grand. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, built motors get pricey. Yeah. And, like I think the suspension kit's 2,500 bucks right now, oh, just man. for the front end. Then you got a coilovers and yeah, it's a pretty penny. Wow, are you so. finished with it or are you still working on it? Oh, we're still going. Over? Yeah, you're oh, never yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're throwing a roll cage in. We're gonna change up the angle kit to go with a uh, the pro level angle kit. Mine was the pro level, but they just came out with a newer one that moves the uh, steering rack and all that. Okay. And uh, that's a much higher end kit. So we're gonna be upgrading to that one. So you're never done. Race car <laughs> is just always something new to do. That's awesome. So, well, shall we take it on a rip? Yeah. All right. All right, so I had an audio issue here. As you can see, there is no audio inside the car. So I'm gonna jump straight to the ride video, but the audio is gonna be coming from a camera outside the car. So you won't be able to hear 
my voices, although I was screaming because the ride was insane. Um, later in the video, I go to a different speedway and I get another ride as you will be seeing here shortly. And there, the audio worked perfectly. So stay tuned. the wildest ride I've ever gone on, I think. My eyes were burning. Too bad the guy spun out. Unfortunately, that just, that stuff happens, but it's not over. Some other people are going on some rides, so I'm gonna show those rides. Enjoy that. It is an insane car. Nick from Max HP. Get ready for some more wild horsepower and adrenaline packed rides as I am posting a brand new video of a different car every single week. So please don't miss out. Smash that subscribe button and like the video down below. Unfortunately, in the last video in Kalamazoo, I had an audio issue when I did the ride along. So now we are in Jackson, it's another day, but I'm going on another ride along and this time hopefully the audio works out. So that's where we're at today and that's what I'm about to go do. You want the heat on or off? Oh, uh, I'm good with whatever. Okay, that's good because nothing works, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing a few key components. Oh yeah. You want to do the honors? All you do is push it up until it cranks and then flick it back down. There you go. Sweet. It just looks wild with the turbo sticking out the front like that. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> my little tribute to Ken Block. Gotta respect the unicorn. Now I'm gonna try and go balls to the wall. Oh yeah. But if that track's wet, I gotta check up a lot or else we're gonna go mowing the grass. Yeah. Yeah, just remember to keep your arm inside the car. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Will do.
was awesome. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Man, that's fun. How long have you been drifting for again? Uh, about two years. But it was off and on, so this this right here is probably my fifth event. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. I would not know that watching you drift. It's pretty easy when you got a good car. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. sure we're like almost out of fuel oh yeah a oh, good time for a break thanks for giving me that ride here's what happens yeah 